Restore your health, be renewed. You gotta take control to see a breakthrough. You're only one step away from a life made better. A life made better. A life made better. Greetings to all of our dedicated listeners of the Restore Your Health podcast. Thank you for tuning in to the broadcast. I'm your host, LaRonda. We know that you could have been doing anything, but you chose to listen in to our weekly podcast. And for that, we are really, really appreciative of your time and of your support of the show. This week, we'll talk a little bit about mindsets, depression, and medicinal herbs and supplements to help with boosting your mood. Let me share that all the information shared on the show are for informational purposes only, not meant to prevent, cure, or treat any disease. I'd like to start off with a little bit of inspiration. This comes from the inspirational poem, Affirmations. It's a poem I wrote a few years ago, and it goes like this. Make room for affirmations. Speak the goodness of the Lord. Be grateful for his blessings and watch him give you more. Show forth the Lord's glory by giving honor to his name, praising him in all things, for this is why we came. Created in his image to worship and adore him. Sing loud, O Zion, in his courts. Touch the heart of the king, for he is the Lord God, strong and mighty, a comforter in mourning, a counselor and friend. I love to call him Abba, our father. My heart sings praises to his name. I find refuge in his wings. I pray that that poem helps to lift your spirit today. I pray that it will give you hope for today. You know, when we are when we are thankful for what we already have, God gives us more. And that's just how it works. It's like a reciprocal. You know, whatever you ask for with the right motivation, he'll give you. But because he's so good, he wants to continue to pour out his blessings. God gives us not what we ask for all the time, but he'll give us according to our faith. It's because of our gratefulness. When we are grateful for what we have, you know, God just wants to continue to bless us. And it's no different than us with our own children. When our children are grateful, when they, you know, come and, and say, thank you, mommy, or thank you, thank you, daddy, for, for giving me this or for providing um, a roof over our head and food on the table or for buying that game that they wanted or that special gift that they wanted. And you came through and you bought it for them and they were grateful for it. Then you want to go out of your way and do more. And that's how God is with us. When we're grateful for what he's already blessed us with, he opens up windows and opens up doors that no man can shut and pours us out a blessing that we will not have room enough to receive. That's just how good our God is. He is that good. (laughs) So when we have an appreciative heart and we're thankful and grateful, then God opens up blessings that we didn't even know that we could have. And he pours it out on us. So be encouraged today. I pray that that poem of affirmations encouraged your heart to be grateful in what you already have and to thank God for what he's about to do in your future because your future looks bright. All right, so let's go ahead and begin. Today, we're going to talk about a little bit about depression, something that all of us have experienced at one time in our lives. Let's begin by defining depression. Depression is identifying what makes the mind think negatively and effective ways to help. All right. So mood changing herbs that are proven to work. We're going to talk about those. Um, We're going to share some information um, on depression and we're going to see if we can get some resources to help you to get over the hump and get over the negative thoughts and get over all the things that are holding you back from living an abundant life. So depression is, you know, it's common. It's really common in mental health Um, and it involves low moods, a loss of interest in your regular activities or feelings of being withdrawn from your normal activities. Depression can affect anyone. Many people experience depression in different ways. People suffering with depression have symptoms of hopelessness, lasting feelings of sadness, um, worthless anxiety, and fear for prolonged periods of time. Studies show that debilitating depression may prevent people from completing normal daily tasks to include working, eating, sleeping, and engaging 
encouraging others in everyday living. And some depression can even show up in physical symptoms, you know, in your body. In medical news today, depression rates were more than three times higher due to COVID-19 pandemic. Researchers polled participants at the beginning of the pandemic and again one year later to assess depression symptoms. The study found that people with certain factors like having lower income experienced a higher rate in depression symptoms. Another study done at the Lancet Regional Health Americas recently published a study examining how the pandemic COVID-19 affects mental health with finding that not only has the pandemic caused a rise in depression, but also indicated that its increase was worse than larger scale traumatic events like severe weather, terror attacks, and previous pandemics in America. Depression has played a major role in altering the lifestyles of many people. In an article, Brain Fact described depression as an impact on having a difficult time getting out of bed, feelings of fog, daily tasks being somewhat tedious, seemingly purposeless, and even normal routines can be a struggle to complete. Happy things appear muted and bad news sounds even worse. Wow, and I really can attest to that being that I went through depression. You know, some of this that I'm I'm sharing with you guys on the show today are real symptoms. Like you actually do feel muted. Um, you actually feel withdrawn or, you know, your day-to-day task is really hard to do. So these are actual factual readings that, that I'm sharing with you on the show today. Depression affects how people feel. Today, we see more than half of Americans experiencing or have already experienced some form of depression. In fact, about 300 million people have some form of depression. Isn't that shocking to know that that many people have experienced depression? That's a huge amount of people that experience depression. So it lets you know that it's common. So don't feel like you're um, out of the norm if you're experiencing depression. You're not. It's a common feeling that we've all been through at some point in our lives, whether it be due to a pandemic or due to a traumatic event in your life or due to a loss of income or, you know, whatever, or a loss of relationship, you know, depression is real is what I'm saying. So don't feel as though that you're not normal because you're experiencing a little mental health, a little depression. It can be resolved with the right resource. And that is why a holistic way of healing has been proven effective in so many ways. Benefits of herbal medicine has its advantages without the side effects of traditional medicine. That's right. So, you know, using herbs, using herbal supplements has several, several benefits to impact the mental health, okay? There are many herbs that can help with this increasingly growing problem. And I have just a few herbal supplements, a few suggestions um, that have been proven effective, some of which I've already used for myself. And I'm talking about the Young Living Essential Oils. Young Living living essential supplements. So the first one I'm going to share with you is the PD8020. It's used to help memory and mental acuity. This herbal product contains pregnenolone and DHEA, the major substances naturally produced by the body and are key precursors to help with aging, estrogen, progesterone, and DHEA, and also mental clarity. DHEA is commonly used to support the cardiovascular system and immune function, which the two combined helps the endocrine system function properly. To use this, you're going to start with one capsule a day and then increase to two capsules when needed. Next, we'll talk about the Nature's Ultra CBD Oil Starter Kit. This includes a calm roller, CBD ointment, and the potent CBD essential oils um, drop. Don't worry, it contains 0.0% THC in the CBD oil. The cannabinoid is also used for many health conditions. It helps you feel bright and invigorating. It contains YL essential oils with a seed to seal guarantee. Cannabis plants contain hundreds of cannabinoids, including tetrathydrocannabinol and cannabinol CBD, in which impacts the cannabinoid system in the human body that makes and produces several health benefits. CBD oil helps to improve your emotional well-being, your physical, and your mental health. In a study, researchers found that cannabinol used with 72 individuals 
individuals with anxiety or sleep disorders. At the end of a three-month study, the patients that had been taking CBD oil daily reported a 79.2% decrease in symptoms of anxiety. Wow. And 66.7% improved in sleep scores. So there you have it. You can see that CBD oil is another very, very effective herbal supplement that helps to improve symptoms and signs of depression. Okay. And with the Nature's Ultra CBD oil that we sell on our uh, Young Living page, it contains 0.0% THC. So you don't have to worry about the high that, you know, other CBD oils contain because this does not have the THC in it. All right. I know because I, I take it myself. The CBD oil is very good for a wide range of health conditions. And it's, it's very common and very, very effective in uh, depression and mental health. All right. And signs of depression, it helps to improve your, your mood. It helps you to sleep better. And when we sleep, we feel better. Okay. When we don't get enough sleep, we're grouchy. We're depressed. We're agitated. When we don't get enough rest, the body needs rest to be strengthen. Our body needs so many hours of rest. If you're not getting eight hours of sleep, then your body is being deprived because while you sleep, your body's rejuvenating itself. Okay. So you need that sleep so your body can gain the strength it needs for the next day. And if you're not getting enough sleep, then the next day you're going to feel grouchy. You're going to feel sleepy. You're going to feel depressed and angry, you know, because you're tired. So getting the CBD oil will help you with some of these symptoms. And thirdly, the YL supplement, Mind Y that helps support normal cardiovascular and cognitive health. With this shoes, it has CoQ10, ACLCR, and GPC. It also contains fruit extract and turmeric. Yes, the turmeric is in here. And it also has premium essential oils like lemon, peppermint, fennel, anise, and lime to help the brain and heart, accompanied with a generous proportion of vitamin D, vitamin D3, not just vitamin D, but vitamin D3. This combination of premium essential oils, nutrients, and vitamin D3 creates a maximum support for both your cardiovascular and the cognitive function. Wow. So that's another really amazing supplement to have to help with mental health, to help you with anxiety, to help your brain your and your heart function the way it's supposed to. And it's power packed with vitamin D, with essential oils like peppermint, which is really good, anise, lime, fennel, all the, the, the very good essential oils. It has fruit extract, all the this good stuff in it to help to rejuvenate your mind. Now, let me just share this. If you're currently receiving care from a physician or a psychologist or a psychiatrist um, and you're taking antidepressant, ask your doctor about the CBD oil because it may interact with other medications that you're taking. So, so just tell your, share with your physician before you um, start taking the CBD oil, just to make sure that if you're not taking any medications, you should be great. You should be good to go. But if you're taking antidepressant, then you need to um, ask your, your doc about taking taking the, t the CBD oil. And don't forget to mention that the CBD oil that you take from Nature's Ultra, that it contains 0.0% THC. All right. Well, guys, I hope that something said on the show today um, inspired you. I hope that something shared on the show got you feeling a little more comfortable about mental health. Now we talk about mental health a lot and then we are, we're experiencing a lot of mental health in our society. We've seen a lot I'll say that much. We've seen a lot of mental health in the past few years with, you know, with different circumstances going on. And sometimes people just don't know how to cope. They don't know how to cope with it. And let me tell you, doing meditation with essential oils, having your prayer time is going to be key to your healing. Getting in the word of God, praying every day on top of taking your natural supplements and staying positive, staying away from negative people. You know, if your circle contains people who are always talking negative, always talking defeat and that, you know, we're going to be broke, busted, and disgusted, then you need to find a new circle of friends. Some who think a little bit higher, who, you know, have a higher perspective of thinking. Surround yourself with like-minded people who think like you, you know, um, because you are who you associate yourself with, or you become, shall I say, who you associate yourself. You may not be like that, but if you continue to associate yourself with people of that caliber, then you will eventually become like that. 
that. So keep that in mind, you know, when you're calling these so-called people friends <laughs> or associates, shall I say. All right. Keeping a positive mind, meditating every day in your quiet space. You can take a few moments, step away from your desk. If you're at work, you know, go outside, get some fresh air and just have time to think positive. Have time to meditate. Have a little time to pray and clear your mind. Don't allow the junk from other people okay, to clog your thinking because that contributes to thoughts of depression. I mean, you can even, YouTube has so many positive speakers. I listen to lots of preachers and positive thinking. I even, you know, do it myself, but you can, you know, get a group of positive thinking people who think the way you do. Surround yourself with some who does and eventually you will too. But make sure that you get some of these products off of my Young Living page because I'm going to tell you they really do work. I use the CBD oil myself. So I know that it works. The mind wise, you know, is really good as well. Helps you um, with your clarity, helps to you keep your mind clear, helps to keep you thinking well. It helps your heart, which is important. So, you know, grab some of these supplements. I share these supplements on the show every week and I don't just share them just because I want, you know, I want you to go and buy something off of my page. I'm sharing this because I've used it and it worked. And if you want it to work for you, you got to at least try it. You never know until you try it, right? So you got to at least try it. <laughs> Me telling you is one thing, but you actually trying it for yourself, that's another one. And once you try it and it works, no one can change your mind because you know what? I've tried these products. They're 100% pure, natural, the seed to seal guarantee, and they work, you know, no chemicals, all natural plants, plant oils, plant materials materials and they work. So why not try something, something clean that you're going to put in your body? Why not? I mean, you either pay for health or you're going to pay for being sick. I'd rather keep my body healthy and put good things into it rather than putting junk in my body that will eventually, you know, make you sick, whether you get an upset stomach or whatever. Okay. So keep that in mind. Surround yourself with like-minded people. I want to encourage you on that today. You are not alone. You're not alone in this fight. We've all been there. And if some of us are saying we've never been there. We're lying because we've all been there at some point in our lives. We've all experienced depression. Okay? You're not crazy. You're not out of your mind. You're not losing your mind. You may have just experienced some bad events in your life and you need healing. So I extend to you to choose healing today through the means of natural holistic medicine, meditation daily, and surrounding yourself with like-minded, positive thinking people, people who are going somewhere in life, people who want the same things that you want. And I promise you, you will get good results. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Restore Your Health podcast. If you'd like to purchase any of the material that we talked about on the show, you can visit myyl.com forward slash LaRonda-Dawson. That's for the Young Living Essential Oil Products. If you'd like to purchase my new book, Live, Sleep, and Eat Well, visit LaRondaPublications.com. If you like this video, subscribe to this channel and share it with a friend. Until next time. Have a great weekend, everyone. Restore your health. Be renewed. You gotta take control. To see a breakthrough, you're only one step away from a life made better. A life made better. A life made